Josh, congratulations on uh, on a new deal. Just um, how confident are you that the Bulldogs have got a bright future, and that's why you committed? Yeah, a lot. Like I'm so happy to re-sign, and I'm obviously confident about the future and the young players we've recently signed up as well. So it's exciting going forward. We've been in a lot of games this year and shown potential. So. I'm keen to dip into that and really push forward. Is that another reason why you, you do look around? You look around at the different players that have signed, like Bont and Pally and Norton, all these rising guys that are coming through with you, and that gives you more confidence? Yeah, definitely, and I think I'm really close with Bonte, so we live just around the corner from each other, so it's great to be committing to the club for another couple of years, and alongside him, um, Naughty as well, uh, Lockie Hunter, Jack McRae, all these, all these really good players, so we're building something special, and hopefully we can push forward into the future. And that building, you know, another flag on the horizon? Hopefully. It'd be nice to, um, to think like that, but we've got to, yeah, each week we've sort of got to win each game as it comes, so keep putting our best foot forward as a group and challenging each week and hopefully we go all right. Would you say it's a new era, moving into a new era at the club as far as the players are concerned? Oh, I think every year it changes a lot, so you dramatically um, you see new personnel come in, but yeah, we are building something and each week we sort of see different personnel out on the field, but um, we'll do our best to win games. How big has the last 12 months been for your growth, especially at the end of the last season in the midfield and you started a fair bit of forward and now you're back in the mid, you've got to add another string to your bow I suppose. Yeah, I've always worked on my midfield stuff. So growing up, I got drafted as a midfielder and then found myself playing a key forward role or forward pressure role in the premiership side and then slowly sort of itched my way into the midfield. So I've been working alongside Joel Corey, um, Gia, Steve Grace, a lot of the, the midfield coaches now, and they've helped me a lot. So to get more midfield time is good, but um, I'm just playing my role for the team. Speaking of midfield, so they don't come much better than the pies that you've got this week, but you really did push them up until three-quarter time last year. Uh, sorry, 10 weeks ago? Yeah, we did. It was it was a good performance, three quarters, I think, and neck and neck with them all night. And then uh, they, they ran away in the last quarter. So we'll look at that this week and hopefully come out on Sunday and put in a really good performance. Am I right saying you spent a bit of time overseas earlier in the year working on your fitness? Is that, that yeah, 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 yeah. How much, uh, I suppose the hard work is now paying off. Is that what it feels like? You put in all those, those hard yards and now you're getting return for investment? For sure. I think uh, Bonte and I actually went away in the off-season and wanted to sort of broaden our horizons a little bit and look elsewhere outside of Australia and something different. And we found ourselves at Nike in Portland uh, with an NFL style coach and then in San Diego with a, an Olympic style coach as well. So they push us to the limits and we learn a lot from them and yeah, hopefully it works for us going forward. Will Liver's absence sort of change the way your role has been in, in previous weeks? Obviously he's a, an inside midfielder and um, that, that time might have to sort of fall to you. I'm not too sure yet. We'll, we'll talk about it throughout the week, but we've got another, you know, couple of young players that are pushing for spots as well. So Riley West might get an opportunity. Who knows? But um, we're yeah, we're happy that we've got that stock um, upcoming, and we'll see how it goes with the selection at the end of the week. Are you just amazed by Dale Morris? Like just how tough that guy is, and his ability just to recover from anything, and he's he's getting closer and closer. Yeah, he is. Moz is just a superhuman. Like the way that he goes about things at the footy club, um, he's taught me a lot. These these little magnet things that he's he carries on a little bit about. But if it helps, it helps. And he's one of those people that looks for that extra edge. So he's great. It's great to have him around, and can't wait to see him back. What are they meant to do the magnets? I think it's more like an anti inflammatory sort of setup. So yeah, he got me onto that quite early, which is nice. Does it work? I think so. If it gives you a little one percent, why not? Or is it all in your head? Could be placebo. I'm not too sure. <laughs>